I've been reviewing phones now for nine years, and I had the distinct privilege of starting at the very beginning of the smartphone revolution. And during that time, like every reviewer, I've been accused of pretty much every single bias under the sun. I love Apple, I hate Apple, I only like Android, and a ton more, and honestly, it bothers me. I try really hard to keep all OS preferences out of our reviews, but as hard as I might try, some biases do inevitably creep up. And after almost nine years of making videos and writing articles, I think it's time to come clean. So I tend to split my time pretty evenly each year between iOS and Android. But whenever I test a new phone, regardless of operating system, a few things creep up in my mind and I start to come to my conclusions. What matters most to me in a phone are two things that I just can't seem to get past. The quality of the display, if it's got a crappy screen, I got a hard time just looking past that, even if the rest of the phone is incredible. And the second one is the build quality of the device, how it feels in my hand. Out of everything that goes into a phone, the screen is our portal into it. It's, it's our everything. Why OEMs put horrible panels on expensive devices is beyond me. It's not always have to be the highest resolution, it's just how images, text, and videos, and display look in direct sunlight. So for example, before the iPhone 10, Apple's screens started to look bad, especially when we got to the iPhone 6 generation, when you held them up to the competition. While technically HD resolution of 720p or 1080p, depending on which size you got, they were fine, but you looked at them next to Samsung, there were really clear differences. Colors weren't as vibrant, blacks weren't as dark, and the IPS LCD was starting to become antiquated. I think it's that point when I started to be accused of an anti-Apple bias, and it wasn't an iOS thing, it was just a display thing. I honestly believe that's why I've been accused of having an ample bias. I was never a fan of iPhone displays, and that was just difficult for me to get past. So the last factor that really plays into my opinions, and obviously all this is totally subjective, it's how the phone feels in my hand. I tried to get past shoddy build quality to see the experience beneath, but if a phone just doesn't feel good, I have a really hard time forgiving it. I think that's why I've been more drawn to recent generation Samsung devices. They feel awesome. I was admittedly hard on something like the LG G6, not because it wasn't a good phone, but because it didn't feel like the premium phone that it was. I think this is why something like the iPhone 10 that marries an incredible display with a super premium build quality immediately earned my affection. And it had nothing to do with the OS and everything to do with the screen and the awesome build quality. And this isn't something I've been consciously hiding from you guys, but something I finally realized in an epiphany a few months ago. I'm not sure if realizing this is gonna let me put those biases aside and review my next devices, but I do promise I'll try. And please don't interpret this as me saying that only expensive phones are gonna get good reviews. There are plenty of lower cost options with amazing designs and solid screens and build quality. Things like OnePlus, Honor, and Motorola. And before you judge me, I hope you can at least appreciate or at the very least acknowledge the honesty here. Everyone, no matter what they tell you, has some sort of bias. Now, at least you know mine.